What is up everybody, Mr. McBonkers here. Uh, in this video, I'll be illustrating a cute little cat, and uh, you're gonna watch me in real time, and it's gonna be a little different than my usual speed illustrations that I've been posting of. So I guess you can kinda count this as a tutorial for Illustrator. I hope you enjoy, and if you do, I'll make more. All right guys, here we are with the artboard. Now I think we're gonna start here with just a uh, just regular oval. About about there. Looks good. And I'm gonna change it to the orange I already have selected right there. And now I'm gonna select the pen tool. Make myself a little uh, triangle. And we're gonna take the uh, direct selection tool and we take these little uh, Little circles right here, if you take them, you pull them, it rounds off the corners. See, I think I want these to be a little bit taller, so I'm going to stretch it out a little bit. Now let's take this and put it in the back. Take that and we'll do Command C, Command F, and that puts a copy right in front. We're gonna make it a teeny bit smaller. Let's change the color real quick so we can see what we're doing here. Change the brown. So there we go. Let's we'll use the keyboard to move it over a little bit, like we like. And you see the curve here happening because of the oval in front. So we'll take that, move it over with a copy by holding down Shift and Option. And then we will object, transform, reflect, vertical. And there we go. Just move it over. There we go. So now we have two ears on it. Let's see here. Let's go ahead and create the little uh, white uh, mouthpiece right here. And I'm just going to make a copy of this again with Command C, Command F. So there's one in front. Let's go ahead and select the white. Now let's just kind of edit it as we see fit. Hold down the option so it does it to both on both sides. Move it down to about there. I think that's about right. Sound, look, look good. Zoom in, tab it. Now I'm gonna make another copy, paste it in front. Just so there's two of them and I'm gonna use the other shape to use the Pathfinder tool to cut it out. And I'm gonna go ahead and hit Command Y, and uh, then it just makes you see the uh, the black lines on the outlines. So this is mm, thinking to move down a little bit more. That looks to be about the right shape right there. Then I'm gonna hit Command Y again to get out. I'm gonna select both of these shapes, and right here with the Shape Builder tool. And I want this to be its own shape, so I can make each three of these their own shape, but I only need this one to be its shape. So come out, take that top one, delete it, take the bottom one, delete it, so now we have the little mouthpiece right there. And I'm actually going to copy this again, Command C, Command F, to make the little teeny brown nose. Bring it in a little bit, scrunch it up, a little more, bring it right there, then change the fill color to the brown I already have selected. There we go, so it makes this little teeny nose. And so now I'm going to want to make these little uh, hooks that make the uh, like the little lips. So go to shapes, go to rounded rectangle, make something about that. We'll select uh, an outline, let's just say black for now. Actually, no, we'll say the, uh, the brown and take out the fill color. There we go. Make it a little bigger. Oh. Round it off. Let's make it a teeny bit thicker. Maybe a little too much. Let's take a look at it. Move it right there. That looks pretty good. We'll go with that. Uh, and then I'm going to go to Object path outline stroke so now this is its own shape 
as opposed to a stroke. And I'm going to grab just a rectangle again. And I'm going to let's see here. Right about there. And just do another one right there. It's fine. I'm going to use the Shape Builder tool again. I want this shape right here. So I clicked on it, so now it's its own shape. Get rid of all this. So there we go. Take it. Command C, Command F on Mac, of course. And then Object, Transform, Reflect, Vertical. I'm going to move it over. There we go. So it's coming out a little bit different than the one we did before, but that's fine. Let's do the tongue. Let's go ahead and do the rounded rectangle again. It's right about there. Let's pick, I think that's the pink I used. Move it over, line it up. And I need to select these two shapes along with it and then use the shape builder again to collect this one right here because that's what we're going to end up with. So get rid of the rest of it. And there we go. Tongue is sticking out now, all cute. Mm -hmm. And let's go ahead and make another rec rounded rectangle, excuse me. And we'll make it the brown make some whiskers rotate a little bit try to space them out a little evenly that's fine looks good I'm going to copy, paste in front again like I have been doing, move it over, again object, transform, reflect, and I'm just going to line it up with my eye. That looks good. So there's the mouth and whiskers, again a little different than we had before, but that's fine. So we're going to make the eyes next, and I'm just going to make them with simple circles. up here, grab the ellipse tool, right about there, I'm going to change it to white, and just eyeball it right there, Then we'll hit select it, and then again, command C, command F on a Mac, it'll put a copy right in front, and then we're going to make it a little teeny bit smaller, we're going to change it to black. And then we're going to do it again, Command C, Command F, put one in there, but we're going to change it back to white to make a little reflection in the eye. Let's zoom in a little bit. Oh. There we go. So it looks like a little teeny reflection in the eye. Now I want to be able to select all these, all these three circles right here. Uh, if I do try that, it'll move the, the oval, and I don't want that. So a little thing you can do if you don't want to mess with anything you've already placed down is that you can select the things you don't want to move and go to Object Lock Selection or, com or uh, Command 2 on the keyboard of a Mac. So now I cannot mess with these. So when I do this, I select only the stuff that I wanted to select. And I'm going to go ahead and hold Option and Shift, select all of them. Click and move them, but then hold down Option and Shift, and it will make a copy that you can move around. Right, these look a little off, so what I'm going to do is grab both of them, and you can see the lineup right there with that purple line that showed up right there. So now they're perfectly lined up, and I think now all I have to do is make the little eye patch right here. So I'm going to go ahead and get that done. I'm just going to get the pen tool out and kind of manually do this. So that does not look like exactly as I want it, but that's fine. 
we can edit it later with the uh, direct selection tool. You grab these little bars right here. And you know what? Before we do that, just so I can see where the, what I'm doing. No fill. Let's just go ahead and put a stroke so I can see where it is. And the direct selection tool. So we can edit the eye or the, uh, I guess, eye patch, whatever you call that little patch of fur. That looks fine. And so now I need this oval again, so I'm going to go to Object, Unlock All, and it unlocks that oval. So I'm going to select that and this shape right here. And then the Shape Builder tool again. But I'm going to click right here and not right here because then it'll cut it out of the oval and I don't necessarily want that. So I'm going to cut that, come back, get rid of it. So now I have this shape right here. Let's get rid of the red stroke. Then we'll make it the brown. But now it's covering up the eye, so I hit uh, so I hit Command, and then left Command Shift left bracket, which brought it all the way to the back, and then just Command and right bracket to bring it up a few, so it's in front of the orange oval. But now I have this little edge right here that I don't necessarily want to uh, see. I want there to be a little bit of an orange right there, so what I'm gonna do is select the orange uh, oval in the background. Command F, so it's directly in front, and I'm going to put this, uh, take the fill color out, but the stroke to that orange we have. Set it up maybe three pixels or so. And it does take care of it, however, then it makes it a little uneven right here, which is not really what I would like. So I'm gonna grab that uh, oval on top, and uh, Command Shift right bracket to bring it on top. And then I'm gonna go right here to stroke. And then align stroke, I'm gonna go to inside. Align stroke to inside. So then we got, it's more even right here. And that looks to be about it. Thank you for joining me on this uh, simple little illustration tutorial. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, hit that like and subscribe button if you would. Uh, peace out, guys.